Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Philly, aka Visuals by Philly. Welcome to episode number two of Tutorial Tuesdays. Um, I had one person request that we go over how to edit like Gunner Style. Um, so this tutorial is going to go over how to achieve that film, like that real film look that Gunner Style uses in the vast majority of his photos. So without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and dive right in. Um, first thing that we're going to do is select the photo and then import that into Lightroom. Um, of course, you're going to go over to, to the develop tab as we talked about in the tutorial previously. That's where we do all of our editing. editing. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here. I'm going to go to grain and I'm going to set it anywhere between like 25 and 30. For this one, we'll just go on the high end of 30. Then once we set that, we're going to go up and uh, go to noise reduction and we'll go to luminance and we'll set that at roughly 20. So <clears throat> essentially what I'm trying to do with this is smoothen out the grain that we just put on the photos while also still retaining the texture. Um, now we're going to go up to the tone curve. First thing that you want to do um, here at the tone curve is select this, this bottom graph here in the bottom right corner. That allows us to um, set points on the graph. Next thing that's very important once we have that is to um, make sure that your channel is set to RGB for this one, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set a, <clears throat> a point towards the end of the graph, and then we'll have one that's actually at the very bottom of the graph. And then the point that is at the bottom, we're going to bring that up like so. Okay, right about, right about there. Okay, we'll bring that point up to so basically what we did with that is we're trying to give that uncontrasted gray look in the shadows and that's what we're doing when we pull that that point up i think i'm going to put it right about here next thing we're going to do is we're going to set another point close to the middle okay and then we're going to bring that down just a bit right about let's see right about here and basically what that's doing is adding a little bit of contrast to the to the to the photo so now we're going to go back to the channel where, where we had RGB selected and now we're going to select red so that we can change the colors of the shadow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a point here in the middle and I'm going to drag that down just a bit. Okay, right about there. Now I'm going to set the channel from red down to blue. I'm going to do the same thing, set a point in the middle, bring that down just a bit. And then what I'm going to do is set another point that's kind of in between the point we just set and the end point. So right about here. Okay, and I'm gonna bring that down a little bit as well. By doing this, this will allow us um, to get a, a little bit more of a warm look in the shadows, right? Um, now, the, the main thing is to uncontrast the picture, right? So what we'll be doing is going up here. We're gonna bring contrast down to about negative 20. Okay, I'm gonna bring the highlights down to about negative 10. I'm gonna bring the shadows up to about, let's say 35, maybe 30-ish. Let's do 25 on this picture. And remember, this is these are the main things that you're gonna be doing. You don't have to set them to this exact number. It's all dependent upon the picture, um, you know, the settings of the picture. Um, we'll bring the whites up a little bit here, maybe close to about there, around, around 20 or so. And then I'm gonna bring the blacks up to about 10. So as you can see, this is the original picture. This is the picture so far. We have that kind of Polaroid look coming along with it. Now, you know, it's, 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 it's very uncontrasted, if you will. Um, now we're going to add a little bit of sharpness to the photo. So I'm going to bring clarity up to about 10. Okay. Essentially, un uncontrasting the photo helps add um, that film look that we've been that we're going for with this photo with uh, you know with, with the trying to achieve that gunner stall type of style. Now we're gonna go down to the HSL section. We're gonna go to saturation and I'm gonna saturate, I'm gonna bump up the saturation on the oranges. So I'm thinking maybe close to right about right about there, about around around 15-ish. Um, and then from there we'll select luminance. I'm going to bring up the luminance of the reds to about right there, of the oranges, probably right here or so, and then also the yellows. Okay. 
Okay, right about there. So basically by pushing up the reds and the oranges, um, we're brightening the subject, which is giving that kind of on-camera flash. Um, Gunner does use a lot of, um, if not all of his pictures, he's really known for using film, film cameras um, with the on-camera flash. So this will help achieve that look without actually having to have, um, without actually having to have a film camera, right? So um, some of us will be shooting, this is like a, if, 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 we're, if we're shooting with the DSLR, right? Now we'll go to split toning. And what we'll do is we'll go down to the, the shadow section and the hue right here. And we'll select the alt or option key, depending on whether or not you're using Mac or PC. And we will slide this until we get to number 36 ish. Okay, cool. And then we will saturate this by about 10. And what that's doing is again, giving us kind of that warm look. And that's really it guys. That is it. That is how you achieve that film look on your, on your photos. As you can tell, this is the before, this is the after, and it, it really does have that kind of Polaroid look, Polaroid vibe, where it looks like someone just snapped a picture with a Polaroid camera or like those old uh, Kodak cameras that we used to use those disposable cameras so that's how you achieve the gunner style look um make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel every tuesday we're dropping a tutorial here on tutorial tuesdays make sure you guys follow me on instagram at visuals x philly um if you have any questions or anything that you want help with um you could feel free to shoot me an email comment down below if you have anything that you want to um see in the next tutorial tuesday and until then i'll see you guys next time